Hey folks, Will Brink here uh, from www.brinkzone.com. Uh, you are wondering why am I staring at two glasses of water? Well, we're going to do a couple of creatine comparisons today. Uh, one thing that people, as simple as it is, don't seem to understand, and and hey there, that's me. Uh, anyway, one thing that people don't seem to understand, as simple as it may sound, is Creatine that is not dissolved is basically unused creatine. That basically goes through you uh, and or causes stomach problems. So one drawback to creatine monohydrate, and we're only talking about creatine monohydrate at the moment, is that it's not very soluble. And so you want to fully dissolve it um, into your liquid. Now I just use an arbitrary amount of water here, but you can see they're the same. Now this is your... Um, basic tap water uh, temperature I just poured it from the tap and this is hot tap water and I'm going to take standard creatine monohydrate uh, about a five gram dose and I'm going to I'm going to mix them in and you're going to see and we're going to time them and we're going to see what the difference is between the time that they are actually mixed a lot of people just dump into a protein drink and don't realize and a cold protein drink and don't realize that most of it is probably not fully dissolved into the liquid before they drink it so here we go Take my little, uh, okay. I'm gonna take a nice flat scooper of uh, creatine. It's about a five gram dose. Goes into the, okay. Now we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it flat. We're gonna put it into the warm water. Okay. Let's hit the timer. Start. There we go. We got us the timer. I'm going to take my teaspoon and give it a mix. So now you'll notice that one's falling right to the bottom there. You know, it's all usual creatine monohydrates, all kind of chunky. Now for the warm water. Now you will notice, and you should be noticing already, that the warm water is dissolving a lot quicker. Let's give that another stir. Let's give that another stir. And again, standard tap water temperature, warm water tap, just from a tap. Okay, now we are at, as you may be able to see, hopefully, let's see, 45 seconds. And you can see the stuff in the tap water is still clumping up on the bottom. Give it another stir. You know, and this is your standard creatine monohydrate. Uh, now obviously, you can see the warm water. The warm water is clearly dissolving this a lot faster, so let's see now. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we're at a minute, uh, minute 23. Okay. Now you can see in the it stuff just sits right at the bottom. It is not dissolving, and I don't know how much is sitting down there, but I don't know. My guess would be you know, at least three quarters of it is not even dissolved. All right. Let's give the warm one another, another little thing. Let's give the cold one. Okay. All right. Obviously, the warm water is dissolving the creatine much faster than the cold water. And studies with creatine, especially old studies, uh, original studies, uh, they were put into hot tea because it dissolves so much quicker. And I can tell you. A lot of, again, a very simple, a very simple trick with creatine is that creatine that is not dissolved is not absorbed. It basically goes through you, and is also more likely to cause stomach problems. And so, dumping it into a cold protein drink, not always the best idea. And we're at minute two plus, and basically most of the warm creatine is almost all gone. There's a little bit at the bottom, and you can see the cold creatine is now literally, I don't know, if any of it's dissolved, it's probably. Uh, uh, maybe we're at half. I don't. I'm not. I couldn't tell you. But as you can see, it's quite. It's quite a big clump down there. Okay. You can see. Look at that's the bottom of the cold one, and that's the bottom of the warm one. You know, much smaller clump uh, down there. And like I said, a little bit left on the warm one. Obviously, you'd get it fully. You'd get it fully dissolved in the warm one. Not too much longer. I mean, that's that's dissolved enough certainly to drink this. Not so much, okay? So, that's three minutes of effort. 
And that's why, if you read around, some people go, I've never heard of that. But if you actually read around a little bit, you will see the people who know creatine make it very clear that it needs to be fully dissolved before you drink it to get the most benefits out of it. Uh, a lot of people have stomach problems or say, I don't get anything from creatine. Sometimes it's as simple as that, and that actually will cure the problem. Okay, so that's test number one. If you want to find out more about creatine, head on over to the Brink Zone. That's www.brinkzone.com. I've got a free uh, ebook report on creatine. The free download covers types, brands, loading, doses, health benefits, you name it. So check that out, and I'll see you on the Brink Zone.